outside and shit. Hey everybody. So what up guys? How y'all doing? Can y'all hear me? Cause I'm I'm on I'm outside and shit. Alright guys, so I'm on, I'm on here, right? Because Cardi's tired, alright? Cardi's tired. I'm tired of y'all motherfuckers crying and crying and crying because y'all mad, okay? Because y'all motherfuckers is mad. And let me tell you something. So there's this guy that's been harassing me for the past three years. <laughs> for the past three years. And this guy, he's a scammer. He, he tells people that he's part of the Grammys and he could help you. He could help you uh, become an artist and everything. When you send him money, he stopped replying to your emails. But this person, for some reason, his tweet went viral because people that don't like me, because he, use, he uses the Grammys, uh, he uses the Grammys name and shit. He uses the Grammy name to get people's traction on Twitter. But this guy is really a scammer. Now, part of the Grammys never helped one artist ever in his life. Never ha don't have no credentials. And uh, people are people keep saying this, and this has been an argument for the past two years. Oh, Cardi, all oh, about my Grammy and everything. And let me tell you something, right? I don't understand when I was first nominated. I was first nominated in 2018 for uh, two Grammys for Bodak Yellow, right? And I lost them. I lost them. That was 2000, 2017 was my year, right? And I lost it. So I don't understand, right, since y'all claim so much that my label be buying shit for me, why they didn't buy me the Grammy when I when I first lost both of them. And y'all were on social media. Y'all could actually, if y'all go on Twitter and y'all look back in 2018, y'all was saying in 2018, Cardi deserved that Grammy for Bodak Yellow. Cardi deserved that Grammy for Bodak Yellow, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, whatever. Then when I won the Grammy for the album, right, when I won the Grammy for the album, that same night, y'all were so happy about it. Y'all were so happy about it. I think another artist said something on Twitter. No, I know another artist said something on Twitter because they felt a certain type of way about something. And it's like, you know, I wasn't even mad about it because I understand where they were coming from. But y'all were chewing that, that person up saying, Cardi wanted fair and square, ah, ah, ah. And, um, and at the end of the day, at the end of the day, there were other two artists in that category that are, are part of my label as well and they lost it it is what it is you cannot take away that i had an amazing album you i mean <laughs> you cannot take away the fact that um i had an amazing album the album was just trending on twitter three days ago because y'all was saying how great the the debut of it and on top of that you guys didn't you guys barely bought the other artists in the categories album except for travis scott so it is what it is and then people be like oh if all right so why you keep defending it if you if you don't feel guilty because that shit hurts because i work my ass off for this shit that's why so when when you trying to accuse me of something that i worked so hard for that it was so emotional when i won my grammy that night i was crying in bed i got on my knees in front of offset and my family just thanking god so when um y'all are upset at the fact that maybe one of your favorite artists that didn't want a grammy before that wasn't my fault if one of your favorite artists never won a Grammy before, it's not my fault. I was never nominated with them. You need to be mad at the person they lost it to, not me. I was ne I was never nominated with them. So why y'all want to be always upset with me? That shit is annoying. I could tell you this, though, that it's not bought. And I could show y'all. In, in 2018, 2019, I was getting paid six hundred to seven hundred thousand dollars a show and they only paying that shit to people that fucking could pack shit out i'm already getting fucking booked for next year for shows in europe for fucking two million dollars you can't buy that you can't buy that <laughs> people only pay that when you sell shit when you sell shit everybody always want to be like oh why you never why you never had a tour actually i had an independent independent a uh, week that I did that I did concerts my concert as the headliner my concert and I sold that out 15,000 people arena look it up you can look it up 
And on top of that, everybody be like, so why you never did your tour, Cardi? Well, let me tell you something, right? Um, when I put my album out, I was extremely pregnant. And I had to stay down for like about three months. And then on top of that, let, on top of that, because a lot of people want to call me dumb. But, you know, Cardi, Cardi be knowing what she's doing. When I first got my tour deal... This is what they wanted for my tour deal. They wanted to give me $80 million for 100 shows. Oh, it sounds good, right? $80 million for 100 shows. That's not bad. Yeah, but $80 million including everything. So that's including you got to pay for production. Production estimated was going to be about what I wanted on the stage would be about four or $500,000 every fucking show. Because if I'm going to do a tour, I'm going to go all out. I'm going to go amazing for it. You got you to gotta pay uh, your broker, the one that got you the deal, about 10%. Everything gets off from the top. So why would you think that I'm going to take that deal for a tour when I'm making independent shows about six or $700,000? Everybody always asking me that question and everything. For my second album, we already negotiating tour deals. And it's going to go. It's going to go. Stop questioning me, bro. Stop questioning me. Stop Stop trying to play me. Stop it. Because at the end of the day, the haters, the people that hate me the most, y'all get the most tractions when y'all mention my name. I have made so many people's career off my name, out of y'all degrading my name. So why y'all even playing me? Why y'all even trying me? I don't know. If, 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 I, if I ain't shit, if I can't do this, if, if my music's so trash, I don't know why people keep buying it, keep making TikToks. I'm not paying people to fucking make TikToks. I didn't even, I didn't even thought that that shit was going to even go. I never even did a video to, the, to, the, to, to a WAP challenge or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I have people chanting my songs constantly. Every show that I made, I, I've been headliners. You don't be a headliner of a show if you're not selling shit. I be headlining your favorite fucking, fucking festivals. And 2021, I'm going to show y'all what's up. And I, no, I'm, I already showed y'all. I already showed y'all that I'm that bitch. Stop playing with me. But um, like I said, I'm never pressed for a Grammy. But y'all not going to take away something that, I'm, that, I, that I know that I work my ass off that I deserve. Um, if I was pressed for a Grammy, I would have submitted WAP for this year, and I didn't submit it. I didn't submit it. I don't want to. I don't want to be submitted. I don't even want to be submitted to award shows until I put out my album because I think my album is is so good and it just means something. And I and I worked on it a lot. I've been working on it for almost two years, and um, some songs were are just so emotional to me because I I, I did them during quarantine. I'm not I'm not pressed for nothing, but y'all not gonna keep doing this shit constantly, constantly because y'all because y'all are upset. That y- y'all cannot take my success. There's fifty one thousand people fucking watching me and I'm not even showing my fucking face. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. People are not paying me millions of millions. Why would they be paying me millions of millions if I'm not making them money? Stop. Just stop. I'm so fucking mad about something. Go cry in your Mitsubishi about it, bitch. Shit. Anyways, y'all. Um, I'm I'm running errands, and I'm going home for Thanksgiving, and it's gonna be a great Thanksgiving, guys. Um, I really hate the coronavirus right now. It's spreading like crazy. At first, I was a little iffy, like, how the fuck the number spiked up out of nowhere? I don't know how the fuck this shit is happening again, but it is what it is. It's happening. A lot of people that I know are getting sick, and, um, you know, there's so many celebrities that are getting sick again, and um, just just be careful, you know, just be careful. Um, I'm not even going to spend Thanksgiving with my grandparents because we don't even want to be around them. Because this is is getting crazy, you know. It's getting really frustrating. Me seeing everything closed down is actually making me sad and having anxiety. But, you know, this shit is out of our control. So, let's just try our best to be safe. So, this fucking virus can leave in 2021. (laughs) And, um, stay safe, everybody. Love y'all. Bye.